Here is a puzzle for you. Look at this map of Konigsberg. As you can see, different parts of the city are connected by these seven bridges. Now the puzzle is you have to find a path which will allow you to cross each bridge only once. Let us try that together. Let us first try this path. Nope, it's wrong. Let us try this one. No. Let us try this one. Still no. And as you try more and more, you will realize this puzzle is impossible to solve. And in this video, we will learn why this simple puzzle is impossible to solve and how these seven bridges of Konigsberg led to one of the most important fields of mathematics, graph theory. Hello Genesis. So before starting this video, I would like you to pause this video and think for yourself why this puzzle is impossible to solve. This is because the goal of this channel is to develop your thinking. And this will only happen if you right now pause this video and take your time to think why this simple puzzle is impossible to solve. And without any prior knowledge, if you are able to do it, then your intelligence is at par as one of the greatest mathematicians ever born on this planet. So I hope you have tried it. If you were able to find a reason for it, that's great. If not, it's completely fine. I was also not able to do it. And this is like extremely difficult to figure out why it's impossible. Okay, so the story goes like this. There was this mathematician, Carl Gottlieb Ehler. And he got obsessed with this puzzle of Konig's work. Like there was this town and people wondered there which path they could take to cross each bridge only once. And he was not able to figure out a path. And he was also not able to figure out why he cannot find a path like that. Then he wrote a letter to one of the greatest mathematicians at that time, Leonard Euler. Now at first Euler ignored this puzzle as it had nothing to do with mathematics. But as he tried to solve it, solve it, solve it, he found out like this is impossible to solve and like why? And in that process, he laid out the foundation of a new field of mathematics, graph theory. Okay, so he tackled the problem like this. Now, while I tell you the solution, try to think about his thinking process, how he was thinking to get to the solution, like why it is impossible, like try to see that, okay? First, he removed all the unnecessary things from these puzzles like land, bridges, etc. He said, let's denote these land masses by points. Now we call them as nodes and these bridges as lines. Now we call them as edges, okay? Now this map gets converted to this. Now let's count the number of bridges slash edges connected to each node. This number is now known as the degree of the node. Okay. Now why we are doing it? See, to solve this puzzle and to cross each bridge only once, there should be an even number of bridges connected to each node, except the starting point or ending point. For example, this one, see here to each node, two bridges are connected. So you can cross each one only once, right? Now look at this example. Here, these two have odd number of edges connected to them. This one has even. Here also we can do that. And this path which crosses each edge only once is now known as an Eulerian path. And this path is only possible when all the nodes are of even degree or there are exactly two nodes of odd degree. Everything else even. So now on this map, the Konigsberg one, all the nodes have an odd degree and hence an Eulerian path is not possible. Now, if you want to travel an Eulerian path in this map, you have to remove either one edge or two edges. Then this puzzle is easily solvable. Now see, as you know the solution, this seems so easy, right? But when you try to solve it yourself, you might have like tried to think this way, this way, that way. But see how Euler approached it. He first removed all the unnecessary things. 
try to make it simple trying to find out rules and using those rules he proved it that this puzzle is not possible so this is how you should also think when dealing with math problems so euler's work on these conics berg bridges puzzle is considered as the first theorem on graph theory he also published this paper in 1736 laying the foundations of graph theory so what started as a simple question turned into a monumental leap in mathematics so next time whenever you are crossing any bridge remember that this doesn't only connect land masses bridges also connected humans to graph theory